Welcome to the video, Mac. I've got my old school map in the back. When you live in the swamp, you have to really be careful about hurricanes. All right, so we're going to go on to Blues Turnaround number two. This magazine, 2008. And we're going to do, actually it's number three in the book. And I'm going to try to have a steady hand with it. All right, as you can see, we're in the key of E with four sharps. It's eighth notes across the top. Even though the, the um, backing track is more of a swing feel, it's eight notes across the top, and the first ending does your typical one, two, and with your tie-in right there. And then your second time around, the first measure is identical. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and four. So we got a rest right there on three. So this second turnaround, one, and two, and four, four so you rest one and two and rest four okay all right so here's what it looks like all right you've got your e string ascending going from e g sharp a a sharp b or in tab would be o four five six seven all right now then the next string is descending it's going e d d flat c b Alright, now you do the same thing again, except you use your ending chord. Now to get down, this is only in the key of E, you can utilize your E string right there. We've got double twelves, and the next three strings have to be pressed down on the 11th fret. And that lets the audience know that the song is over. Now, the other night I was in a club and the band stopped playing, and the audience applauded however the song wasn't over so it's embarrassing when that happens so these ending chords are really really important to keep you and them from embarrassing yourselves All right now the backing track has the guitar then it has the example without the guitar now I'm gonna do it five times for you to learn this piece All right, there you have it, Blues Turnaround number two in the key of E with a totally professional ending. 